All right. We did it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, first, I want to say a huge thank you to the staff here. Um, it is thanks to them that we had this beautiful place to come together. Um, the staff have been wonderful. They provided food in the afternoon, letting us serve bubble tea, and providing coat racks unprompted in the foyer this morning. So I just want to say, nya mihi nui ki nya mana whenua o atiwa. So thank you very much. Um, they're over at the back here, so thank you to our staff. Also want to have huge thank you to the bestest AV people in the whole wide world. Uh, we love them. AV Media and Next Day Video, um, they did a lot of last minute running around, um, training volunteers, like bringing last minute bits and pieces together. Um, and they have made a truly seamless experience for us, hopefully for you and for our speakers. Um, so can we please have a big round of applause for them? Okay, so for anyone that didn't catch this last year, how did we end up on this purple-tinged carnival ride? Um, a couple of years ago, we were talking to some friendly security conference organizers. You may be familiar with their work. It's happening tomorrow. About the idea of a defensive security conference, a conference built around bringing it, building us all up, framed in a positive light with actionable talks, with useful information you could take away and actually apply to make your day-to-day Whatever it is you do better. And then that, that, that's it. Then it was happening. That turns out all you have to do is say it. And you, you don't need a license. They just, you can run comms. <laughs> um, so this is the moment PurpleCon became official. We met up over pancakes because, well, it's on brand. Um, unfortunately, Grace couldn't be with us that day and decided that this was going to be a real thing. You might be wondering why we named it PurpleCon. Uh, this is a placeholder name I put on the GitHub repository for the website we made. <laughs> and then we had a meeting, and everyone was like, actually, that's good, though. <laughs> um, sold? Um, and last year, we ran for the first time. We had around 125 people, and we sold out of tickets in less than five minutes, which is unequivocally excellent, but also kind of a problem for us. How do you make sure that a wide variety of people have the opportunity to attend when, if you don't click instantly, you can't get a ticket, right? So last year and continue this year, we had live streaming. We've tried to make it so that people who are not in New Zealand, who are not in Auckland, who can't make it here, for whatever reason, can tune in remotely and join in. And we've tried to make sure our tickets are cheap. And as well as that, we've had uh, discounted tickets and things so that the cost of attending will hopefully never be a, uh, an obstacle to anyone who would like to be here. The first thing that we did was just get better, bigger. So this year we've grown a bit to more than 300 people, which is frankly kind of incomprehensible. So thank you all for humoring our bubble tea fueled fever dream. <laughs> the second was by approaching ticket sales slightly differently. So as mentioned, we think it's super important that everyone has the opportunity to attend this kind of event, to create opportunities for people with diverse backgrounds, and to improve representation hope, both at our conference and hopefully in the wider information security space. Selling out in minutes, as delightful as it is, doesn't help us achieve that. So this year, we decided to try splitting our ticket pool in half. Half for people who identify as being members of a marginalized group, or more than one marginalized group, and half for people who don't. We did this so that we could create space for people who otherwise might have missed out. And we hope that this has created, created a conference environment that, well, feels different. As Alex so succinct, succinctly put it on the web page, who'd win, the Avengers or the Avengers but where everybody is just Captain America? <laughs> um, once again, we'd like to thank our sponsors. So thank you to Insomnia, Atlassian, Google, ZX and Insomnia again. I'm not entirely sure how that happened. For making this whole event possible. Um, again, it's really important to us that tickets are cheap, that that's not something that gets in the way of anybody who'd want to attend. So their sponsorship has paid for AV, live streaming, bubble tea, stickers, all sorts of stuff. 
and we really appreciate that. Um, Jeremy. <laughs> so, um, my, my mom made these lanyards, and everyone loved them, which is really great. And so, I took like a bunch of screenshots of all the Twitter messages and sent them to my mom. And I didn't get all of them because after this is at lunch, and then there's like more after lunch, and there's some, someone's got a hat, and then the hat's made by someone's mom. It's just so wholesome. And I sent it to my mom, and she's like, oh, I love you very much. You know, you guys are awesome. You're very welcome. Uh, so, you made my mum happy, which is lots of brownie points for me. <laughs> Thank you very much. Hello, hey everybody. I uh, just wanted to give you a quick update on the CTF. We do not have a CTF. If <laughs> So if you've been doing it, you've been doing crimes. <laughs> also wanted to give you an update on that weird bug in the website from this morning that we were trying to fix. Uh, we did not fix it, but we found out that when you click it, it goes to this thing. Put your hand up if you've seen this before. OK, so I say a lot of you. Wow, OK. And so when you click this, you get to this fun little choose your own adventure story thing, or you're not sure if it's a choose your own adventure, but then you're like, I can probably click that pink thing, and then you know, you're on a ride. And I'm not going to show you the whole thing, but there's this part which says it's more like sneaking into the cultural tunnels underneath the cultural city with barrels of cultural gunpowder in a plot to culturally assassinate the cultural king. And this is a direct quote of something I said in a Publicon meeting once. And it's a metaphor for, well, we'll leave it up to you to interpret what it's a metaphor <laughs> for. I also wanted to point out this really good idea Grace had. You might have noticed that when you play the game, there's one little line in there that says, oh, it's a long way back to somewhere. And what you might not have noticed is it says where you are when you're playing the game in the story. It like, puts it in the text, or it tries to anyway. And this was when I was showing it to the team. Grace had this idea of, like, oh, you should like, you know, use, get, use JavaScript and geolocate their IP address and like, put it in the story sneakily while they're playing it. And I was like, that's a great idea. Let's do that. And so we went and did it, and this is what it looks like. Uh, and if, it doesn't, if something goes wrong and it doesn't know where to find you, it says, it's a long way back to your place. Mmm, clever. <laughs> Unstoppable. We also wanted to show you what we did yesterday. And yesterday, we, so to be clear, none of, us, none of us live in Wellington. We just thought we should organize a conference here because of, it's not important why. And <laughs> this is what this place looked like yesterday. And we were like, Wow, that's a lot of chairs. You could fit a lot of people in there who want to learn about whatever it is that we do here. So we went on an adventure. This is us shopping for all the weird decorations. This is Grace getting pocky. That's very important. This is my short career as a wedding designer making this thing up here <laughs> and climbing this ladder. And wow, I spent some time with that ladder. And I will after this, I guess, to take it down. And this is us making signs. And this is Grace having some time on the ladder. And putting up the signs, and then whatever Grace is doing here is also important. And at the end, it looked like this. You'll notice the ladder is you know, still there. That's, so you know it's an important part of the journey. <laughs> and here's a really wholesome photo of the PurpleCon team, me, Grace, Ryan, Jeremy, and the ladder. But like, it's not just the four of us who made this whole thing happen. We, 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 couldn't, we can't do that. There's actually way more than that. And so we'd like to invite up to the stage our ultimate volunteer friendship cohesion type force. Come up, all of you, everybody who's a volunteer, get up here, get on the stage.
thank you for coming and helping us do this thing like it's a real official licensed event, not just some idea that we had that means a lot and is very validating, you know, at great risk. Also, we wanted to talk about today. That was all about yesterday. And I wanted to ask, whose first security conference is it, just ever? Put your hand up if you've not been to one of those before. OK, a couple of you. Welcome. Thank you for coming. Today I heard a few people say things like, oh, I, wanted, I kind of wanted to go to security conferences for a while, like to DEF CON or something, but I didn't think I knew enough, or I thought that I wouldn't know anyone, or I didn't think I'd understand it. But then coming here, I was like, yeah, I can do that. And to those people, I say, you absolute fools. You've fallen right into my trap. This is exactly <laughs> what I wanted for you. And thank you for doing that. We hope that you learned things. We hope that you learned about a thing that you didn't know existed and now you want to learn much more about. And we hope that you made friends. And we hope that you felt included, like we're all on the same team. And we hope that you find that special different thing that's about you and share it with everybody. We also wanted to show you some, some little awards that we made, just some little, some little ones. Uh, the first one is for Best Speaker. And this award goes to Soromayas, Sarah, Sean, William, Anton, Moss, James, Bleep, Bendercrime, Michaela East, Kirk, Helen, Tom Easton, Brennan Shackovitz, and Laura Bell. <laughs> um, the next one, we weren't sure what to call this one, so we just called it High Effort Premium Services. Maybe you can guess, maybe you can guess who this award goes to. This award goes to Jeremy's mom. Do we, do we just give you even more brownie points than your, whatever, it's fine, it's fine. Uh, the next award is the At JP Dunner's Phone Battery Memorial <laughs> Award for Crispy Tweets. Get up here, Jason, come on up here. You can come, oh, you can say, okay, all right, you can say, you can say. Thank you to Jason for live tweeting this entire thing. We, like, we didn't, we didn't ask Jason to do this, but like, we're into it, it's good. So thank you for just doing this. And oh, the last award we have is for best friends. And this award, oh, this award goes to, oh, this is for us. Oh, it says we win it, aw, <laughs> So that's, that's, that's towards the end, that's it. We will see you at KawaiiCon tomorrow. I hope we'll see all of you there. And by mentioning KawaiiCon here, you might be wondering, oh, you know, PurpleCon and KawaiiCon, you know, will they, won't they? <laughs> and we'll see you all tomorrow. <laughs>